I want to say welcome everybody. You are in here with John G. This is a special edition of the Ride Home Podcast. If you don't know what the Ride Home Podcast is, essentially I am giving you my reactions and my thoughts of the movie that I've just seen in movie theaters while I, uh, while I take myself home because I don't have anything else special to do except talk with you guys. So I want to say welcome to the channel. Um, I'm, I'm John Grant. I'm going to be your host for today. Uh, the Ride Home Podcast, essentially, I do other stuff too, like reaction reviews, news for different types of movies and TV. But today we are delving in the movie category. And what movie did I see today? You guys obviously know from the title. Today I have seen uh, a highly anticipated movie, a movie I saw the trailer for. And I did actually, I was excited from the trailer. It is Ready or Not. Ready or Not playing a serious game of hide and seek. And overall, we'll touch on my overall thoughts of the film just after coming out of the building. And I would say overall, I actually did enjoy this movie. I think this movie had uh, some nice little fun things that they did with it. And it was it had some good suspenseful moments um it, it was rated r so it did have some it's it's share of blood gore and violence but it was really more of a thriller than it was a horror movie um the breakdown the premises essentially this this uh girl who is the main character she is being married to this young kid and he has a family tradition and his family tradition is you have to play a board game um, late at night if you are the newly married couple and uh, it is your honor to pull said card now they don't know which game that they're gonna play um, it can be any anything from checkers to Scrabble to chess but a hide-and-seek is the worst game of the bunch as they have to play hide-and-seek and, seek and the person who is hiding has to be sought out and killed or the whole family is murdered at the end um or if or let me take that back. if if the family cannot succeed to kill the person that is hiding by sunrise then the uh the family is killed so the so the lore states so um essentially uh, and that's what you kind of found out from the trailer and you're kind of like why are they doing this? You know what's made sense the story premise was actually pretty cool. I mean, it's that classic It's that classic lore of their like great-grandfather made a deal with the devil and in doing so He was able to get off of his feet and he he was able to make this business off of like board games and games and stuff like that uh, so the whole classic echelon of deal with the devil so um and forgive me too i actually don't know any of the actors and actresses names in this movie so i am just going to be very like breakdown specific when it just comes to their looks but overall i feel like the whole cast did a great job uh let's start with the bride herself the main character i actually don't even remember her main name but Excuse me. Um, this this girl was phenomenal in the film. I mean, everything she did was just top notch. Um, the main other actor was uh, the uh, the husband. He did a great, and he had a very interesting story where he was kind of like the prophesized child and everything like that. So um, he was he was a guy who kind of was helping her. And, at the beginning of the movie and he was sad that this was happening to his his wife and then he eventually uh comes to terms uh but by the way guys before i even start i mean i'm not gonna break too much of the, the movie down but there are gonna be spoilers in here so if you have not seen ready or not or if you plan on seeing it uh just be warned now you might want to come back and watch this video because there are going to be spoilers uh just from the discussions so I'm not going to give a rating like a 1 out of 10 or 1 out of 5. Um, I am going to say, though, 
go see this movie in theaters. This is a good movie to go spend your money on. It's a good date movie, maybe to go take take your spouse to, or you know, a girl you've been talking to, or something like that. You could definitely go and check this movie out because it it definitely had a fun story uh, to it all together. I mean, you could really just tell that this is just really a spoiled family who uh, has you know they understand that they have to do this ritual and they have to play this game, but hide and seek is the worst game of it they they stated that it hasn't happened in in a long time so they would usually just catch the draw and play you know one of the basic games like scrabble or checkers or you know uh, backgammon or old mage so uh, it was you know they were they were in shock most of the family members there were only really three family members that weren't really in shock and it was the father it was the mother and then of course it was the the aunt uh, who was who was the kind of the short crazy one that 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 wore the all purple that you saw in the trailers so it's uh, overall It had its it, it had a lot of comedy too, which was kind of interesting. It was a thriller that had its good share of comedy you always had that uh, Whimsical kind of moments that they kind of just threw in there while it was very it, it was feeling very dark and uh you know thrillery for a while but one thing that I did enjoy about this film is that it did have I would put it in the genre of more of like a a realism kind of horror where they played and catered to the audience very very well uh, you know when you're like watching a horror movie or not even a horror movie this is in the genre of a thriller but when you're watching a thriller and you're like oh my gosh start running now or you know do this or or do that you know you 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 get the feel so for instance uh the character who was playing hide and seek so she she has to to hide from the family and the family then has to find her and kill her in order for them to stay alive so the prophecy says so she, uh, you know eventually while she's running through the house the man there's just this, this gigantic mansion it has all kinds of like back doors and and hidden doors and you know tunnel systems throughout the whole mansion but she ends up uh, acquiring a, a weapon and uh, it's a gun and the very first thing she does is she goes to try to unlock a door the doors are all locked obviously and she's about to shoot the door obviously you know everybody's first thing reaction is if you got a gun you know and something saying that it's locked you better shoot that some bitch and try to get out of there right find whatever means means necessary so they just that was just one example but they did a good job at playing and catering towards the audience and it was it was it was really fun overall so it was they did a really a really good job and I, I would tell you I would say it has it does have a satisfying ending to it as well in my opinion I haven't seen any reviews on it or anything yet um, I know overall the critics have have just received it well so for instance I saw that it got an 80 percent or, or something like that on Rotten Tomatoes but I didn't read like the specific you know details of the reviews or anything what people did or what people didn't like I just saw the number so uh, it seems to have an overall appreciation with the critics which is which is cool so uh, overall I, I enjoyed it for the people that have seen the movie I want to know you guys thoughts post down in the comments below let me know if you enjoyed ready or not if you didn't enjoy ready or not uh, what's some things you prefer that that they would have done uh, definitely uh, post down below and I, I want to hear all you guys thoughts and hey as well too um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I, I'm happy that you're listening to the little podcast uh, but uh, please support the channel um, you know, I'm, I'm making all this content because I have a love for film and I have a love for, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, I, I really want to engage with you guys more. I want to talk with you guys more. So comment down below. Let's chat it up. Let's have more conversation and let's do it big. Um, other thoughts on the movie. There were a lot of good character progressions. There were some characters, uh, for instance, the uh, kind of like the brother one of the brothers in the uh, from the husband 
he was kind of like a jerk at the beginning and you're like oh this guy's a douchebag and then you kind of find out more about the story more about his character and how that affects and, and changes uh throughout the story uh so and then of course i mean there was points too where i mean she was able to get outside as well which i thought was really cool she was able to she she inflicted a lot of damage on herself um over the time period which i love you know a lot of horror and film movies and thriller movies you have this character that's being hunted down or or going through a bunch of uh, stuff but they don't ever get touched or ever get hurt this girl was going through it all mentally and physically i mean she got shot she got hurt she got ripped she got cut she got bro i mean everything she was taking damage left and right and it was absolutely uh real like just a good form of realism and like hey you know she's going through a lot of shit so i thought they did that very well and they set it up quite nicely so uh, overall like i said i did enjoy the film go see it in theaters i definitely recommend that is this in my echelon of top top five movies of the year i don't i don't know if i could put it in top five it's still a, it's still a good watchable movie though with without a doubt um it could creep into that top 10 list for sure for this year but definitely it's it's a movie uh, a fun movie to go see um, so yeah guys what's that what's else some other thoughts let me try to let me try to shift up some other thoughts i'm still driving home um, so I'm just trying to break it down as much as I can for you guys. Try to try to ease the ride, make you guys enjoy the ride as, as smooth as possible. But yeah, was it a crazy th thriller? Um, it definitely had a suspenseful. I mean, this, uh, let's talk about the suspense alone. It had some great suspenseful moments from when the 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 wife was in the kitchen area to when she was in the uh the stable the goat stables i mean and it had that it had that really like it wasn't all it didn't go all perfect for her so for instance that is very early in the film um her husband when her husband found her and was helping her out and he was like hey what's what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go because essentially they 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 cut all the surveillance lights. They have cameras everywhere throughout the, this giant mansion. They cut the cameras. Uh, they lock all the windows. They lock all the doors. And then they they play music, obviously, for her to uh, hide and seek. And the music score was was phenomenal. The music was was amazing. It was like a callback 1900, like you know, hide and seek musical song. It was just it was just fantastic but they essentially had her go and hide and then her husband actually ended up finding her and when he found her, he was telling her, hey, I need you to go to the kitchen. You remember where the kitchen's at? She's like, yes, of course. She's obviously panicking and he's like, all right, I'm gonna go, you know, un go up to the surveillance room and I'm gonna go unlock the doors for you. And she's like, oh, okay. And um, pretty much, I mean, when she gets to that decision where she has to figure out where she's going, she actually gets lost. I mean, it's a huge ass mansion, so she has two doors to choose from. And she's like, fuck, was it the left door or the right door? And she ends up taking one of the two doors and the, the door that she chooses is the absolute wrong door. She actually ends up running into a bunch of family members. So I, I just liked how, you know, everything wasn't going her way. She had a lot of stuff that she had to do, which was, made it very, intense very crazy um so yeah family members i thought all the family members were good we had the uh there's like the fat joke the, the the comic relief guy he was okay his wife she was like a drug addict she was just going around killing killing all the maids like crazy and then we had the brother to the husband and that guy was really good he had some he had some good changes in his story we had of course the husband himself who was who had the good appearance throughout the whole film and then actually turned tables and became bad at the end which was a, a really good um, choice in my opinion i thought that was uh, very smart for them to do 
because he he was the chosen one essentially he you know the story came out about how he is he will always be up for the family and he will be the prophesized one which the aunt stated so i thought that was cool how he turned and became um a bad guy at the end um so essentially throughout the movie uh to just do a kind of like a quicker breakdown she's trying to escape she's going through all these trials and tribulations while she's trying to escape people are getting killed and then eventually she gets outside she gets outside she gets hurt more she gets out to a gate actually she tries to escape she escapes out the gate so it, it breaks like it's not just her in the mansion like she's in the mansion at first then she's in the courtyard then she's in the outskirts of the courtyard then she breaks through the gate and then she's actually out on like the street then she's out in the forest so it definitely there's levels there's levels to it she's just not in the house then she eventually gets captured and caught and brought back into the house where they then try to continue the ritual then after the ritual then another loophole where she breaks out the ritual and then they finally get to the grand finale at the end and uh, of course this is the big plot of the movie they do find out uh, she essentially what happens is while they're still fighting while the mayhem's going on the sun actually does rise and then the sun rises and then there's that quick moment of silence where they don't know what to do and they're kind of like what's going on what's what's going on and and uh you know what i'm gonna actually you know i'm gonna save it for you guys i'm i want you guys to see the ending of it because i thought the ending was satisfying and i thought it's something that you should go and see because it's definitely it definitely threw me off for a loop and you know i want you guys to actually go and see it if you guys don't want to see it i mean you know hit me up with a message or something we can discuss it or talk about it in the comments below we can always do that as well but i thought it was definitely a fun little ender as well um so yeah um but overall um like i said solid film check it out in theaters let people know about it you know support this movie because it, it was it was a fun little movie so um but yeah guys so there you guys have it um that was my quick little podcast talk my thoughts my reactions from my car ride home on ready or not post in the comments below let's talk this up and hey i'm making all kinds of different videos daily check back on the channel I hope you guys enjoy the content, you know, like, share, you know, do all that jazz. Uh, you know, let's let's build it up, all right? All right, guys, with that being said, we'll see you around. Have a good one and be easy.